With the retirement of CentOS Linux upon us, migrating from one distribution to another doesn't need to be a complicated, intimidating task. That's why Red Hat Enterprise Linux has an officially supported migration tool to help accomplish just that. My name is Eric, the IT Guy Hendricks, and I'm an operations advocate here at Red Hat. In this tech tip, I'm going to introduce you to the Convert to Rail utility and demonstrate how to convert from CentOS Linux 7 to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. But first, you may be asking, why should I choose Red Hat Enterprise Linux? I could go on for hours about how much I love RHEL and how amazed I am at the dedication to open source and the dedication to award-winning support that you get here with Red Hat. But I only have five minutes. So let me pick out a couple of the top reasons. First off is the portfolio of tools that you get when you choose Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Things like lifecycle management with Red Hat Satellite, automation management with Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform, and not just that, but you have the ability to get in-place upgrades. Red Hat pursues countless certifications through governments, medical verticals, and other agencies to ensure that our systems are government and security certified. So my little spiel convinced you, and you are ready to move from CentOS Linux 7 to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. But how do you get there? That's where the Convert to Rel utility comes into place. It is a simple utility. You download the GPG keys, you enable the repository, you install the utility, you answer a couple of questions, and the system will then automatically go through, determine what your architecture is, take an inventory of all the CentOS Linux packages. So you've got those here, you've got those here over on the left, and then it migrates those to Red Hat Enterprise Linux signed packages on the right. And the best news is the conversion process and the resulting server are both fully supported by Red Hat. So that means you can talk to our consulting organization, you can open a support ticket, whatever it is you need to be successful. But why would I do convert to RHEL when maybe I could just as easily do a rip and replace? That's true. But imagine having to install the operating system, subscribe it to all the right repositories, re-add re all of your users, update all the passwords, install all your, all your tools, install your workload, migrate that workload from your old CentOS Linux system over to RHEL. So during that time, you're actually spending a lot of energy. You're spending a lot of cycles. And if it's if it's like a cloud-based workflow, then you're also paying for double the infrastructure during that migration process. But instead, when you use a tool like Convert to Rel, you don't have to redeploy your operating system or your users. You don't have to reconfigure all of those settings. You don't have to remember all of those packages that you installed originally. It just goes from CentOS Linux, and the conversion tool runs runs some automation and replaces all of those packages. And when it reboots, you're running Red Hat Enterprise Linux proper. And that gives you so many options. You can sit on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 uh, through its end of life, or you can do an in-place upgrade to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, which we'll cover in a different video. Now, you may choose to go this alone, and that's a perfectly viable option. We've got documentation, we've got how-to guides, we've got blog posts, we've got videos, and we've even got a self-paced lab where you can step through this process with the instructions on the left and the terminal on the right. However, if you've got tens of thousands of systems, or even if you're just not sure, you can reach out to our services organization and schedule a discovery call and have our consultant teams help you at least start this process. Our, our consultant teams are amazing. They've done literally tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of conversions since we started really promoting Convert to Realm. So you have options. You don't have to do this alone. So what if you're convinced and you're ready to convert to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, but you're not sure about the financials? Well, not a problem. We actually have an offering just for you. If you have CentOS Linux 7 and you're ready to migrate to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, we have a subscription called the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 for third-party Linux migrations. It is a low-cost subscription for CentOS Linux users just like yourself to move to Red Hat Enterprise Linux at a low cost. As an added bonus, that gives you the ability to get a low-cost subscription of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and an additional two years of support if you stay on, on RHEL 7. But as I mentioned before, converting to RHEL also gives you access to the Leap in-place upgrade utility, which means that you can do an in-place upgrade to RHEL 8, and then you can upgrade your subscription to a standard subscription whenever you're ready and start to enjoy the, the predictable life cycle and all the reasons that you want to move to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So if you're interested, check out our low-cost subscription, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 for third-party Linux migrations. Now, with all that said, it's time for a demonstration. Let's dive in. 
What you're seeing is a vanilla CentOS Linux 7.9 virtual machine. The only thing I've done on the server since install was updating all the packages to the latest version. In order to start our conversion process, we need to add the official convert to rel repository. So let's download the GPG signing keys to ensure we're getting signed packages from Red Hat and the repository file into our yum.repos.d directory. From here, we can use yum to install the utility and its dependencies. Once that's done, we can start the conversion process. Before we let the utility start, let's break this command down. We want this process to move as smoothly as possible, so let's give it a few arguments. You can register using your Red Hat Access account and password, or you can look up your organization ID and create an activation key like we're using here. The TAC or hyphen Y tells convert to rel to say yes to any questions, and the TAC R says to reboot the system on a successful conversion. Are you ready? Let's hit enter. The convert to rel utility will take inventory of the installed kernel and all of the packages, as well as the enabled repositories. We'll see the end user license agreement, the EULA scroll by, and then a prompt lets us know that the CentOS GPG keys will be removed. The utility automatically says yes, Next, convert to rel will install the subscription manager packages needed to register our systems with Red Hat access. convert to rel will register our system and attach any subscriptions that match this instance's profile as well as attach the necessary repositories. As the utility continues, it'll remove the old CentOS repos and disable any additional repos. We'll see a final warning scroll by about system changes. But with the magic of post-editing, we're actually going to be able to see in seconds all of the CentOS packages being replaced with their equivalent Red Hat signed versions. Once that process is complete, the system will reboot into our new environment. Once we log back into the server, we can see we're now running Red Hat Enterprise Linux.